Don't step on that. Whoa! All through. Holy shit, about fell through the fuck car. What's going on, guys? Uh, little video today. We are going to be doing a fuel pump install on my little brother's EP3. Uh, this is gonna be the same for, what is it, 2002 th yeah, through 2005 much. Acura RSX. Honda Civic EP3, uh, SI Hatch. Uh, even the regular Hondas too, it's yeah. all the same spot. So, it's gonna be the same spot. So, without further ado, let's get at it. All right, so, I already took the screws out. The screws out and pry this up, come a little loose. Now, I've never done this before, but I've gotta figure it out here. We got, it looks like we got a clip down there we gotta take out. <laughs> it's fucking dirty down there. That's some bitch dirty, bruh. All right, we'll get back to you when we get this clip out. All, All right. right, so we got this clip. Um, it, as you can see, this entire clip is it is one huge monster, massive clip. So literally, you'll pinch it right here. We used a small pry bar and went up. We literally went up right under it right here and just gave it a quick pry and it popped right up. So that's the clip. Um, obviously, if the, if it hasn't been changed in a while, obviously this is clean. This is very fucking dirty. All right. So put your put your light down there a little bit. So. We got it cleaned up uh, down here. Yes, we can. So essentially, this ring right here has to come off. It turns counterclockwise. Um, lucky enough for us, it wasn't on very tight, so we got we were able to get it off with two hands. But um, if yeah. not, they make a special tool for it to take this ring off, or you can just take a flat head, you know, set it right here. Yeah. Hit it with if a hammer. you don't have the special tool, these ribs right here are pretty stout. You can take a flat head, put it up here, and just lightly tap it with a hammer, and it should bust it loose. Yeah. So, but before you take this off, obviously you got to take off your your quick disconnect here. So we'll take that off. We'll take this ring off, and then hopefully we should be able to pull the assembly out and start working on the. I don't know how much gas I have in there, but <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna find out. So. Anybody got a match? <laughs> so <clears throat> with this. Uh, it's actually a quick disconnect. So you'll come here, and you'll pinch these two together, and you'll hear each side snap. And then you just push it back, and off comes the fuel line. Obviously, there's gonna be a little bit of fuel in there, so just wipe that up. But uh, that is, that is it. Right. Now you can take this damn ring off, my e -cig falls out of my pocket. Oh shit. Oh fuck. One handed sucks. Do it with both hands. Right. Do it with both hands. Use where, your strong hand. Where we're, where we're <laughs> turning this. Nah, bro, just fast forward it. Gotta get them views. Oh my good. Alright, All right, so we got the ring off. And sometimes this white piece right here, which houses everything for your fuel pump, might be stuck, so just give it a little tap and it'll pop right up. Uh, looks like we got a full tank of gas, so <laughs> this is gonna be a little tricky to get out because essentially, essentially the pump sits in, sits in there flat. So right now, when you go to pull it up, you want it to be straight up and down, but it's getting caught, so. Gonna need to figure something out to. I don't want, I don't want to drop that in there. Let's see if I can't get a better angle on that bitch. Damn that fucking e cig. Yeah, it's. Oh, uh, okay, I see what the hell's going on. Yeah. Uh, you can see it. Yeah, so turn it. I'll put it back down. I'll stick that down in there. Not that way. So, this is the assembly here. Looks like Noah's fucking Ark. 
the float's still down in there, that's what's stuck, but essentially this, the, the pump sits horizontal down in the tank, so once we get, oh shit, leaking fuel everywhere, grab the rag. part here this Noah's Ark boat looking fucking part this is what houses one the fuel pump and then this is your float obviously gauges so essentially you want to you want to have a empty tank because our problem was the water was keeping this afloat so we couldn't pull it out because with the, if you have no no fuel in the in the tank It'll straighten out and you can just pull it straight out. I think you meant gas, not water. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, you want it to come out like that. But. So ideally, if you guys do this, go drive around the block like 100,000 times and run your tank of gas out. It'll yeah. be a lot easier, uh, less messy, less stinky, but right. I'm not cheap, but I like the smell of gas, so well, we'll get we're good. To Placing the, the stock pump with our Dietschworks 300C. Dietschworks 300C. So, oh my God. Get to you at the workbench. Oh, um, and at the end of the video, I will uh, give you guys a sneak peek as to why we are replacing the fuel pump. Yep. Be right back. So, we're at our table now. Sorry, the heater's gone. And that's on low. It's like 20 degrees here in Iowa, and that thing keeps us warm in the garage. So, we, we printed off the PDF install guide and repair manual, whatever, from... Where'd you get it? Beachworks. Right Beachworks, okay. So, okay. so, here... <laughs> it doesn't say the actual name of the tools, but I mean, if you can see the picture, you got some picks, you got some wire snippers, needle nose, Screwdrivers looks like flathead screwdrivers, your blade, and some pliers. Pretty simple. Um, we're gonna go through, and, uh, and we'll stop and explain on the way. Yes. Always gotta have your vape too. Yeah. Too bad we don't drive Subarus. Well, I have a Subaru. We'll get to that later. Yeah. All right. So pretty much, just you can download this. PDF from Beachworks, it helps a lot. You know, it's all the step by steps right now. We just gotta remove all these wires from their holders and essentially we're gonna separate this top piece from the bottom piece. There's two clips. There's this. So you got this gray clip right here. You gotta get this out. Then you gotta get this tan one out. So, this clip here is a little different. Um, it's got two prongs on each side. And you'll see these holes here. You got it. I'm pretty sure there might be a tool for this, but this is probably where the picks come in. You got to get a pick on each side, and you got to pry these apart and pull down. So he stuck a uh, flathead up here and just twisted it to apply pressure, and I just I just pulled on each side of these and it popped right out. So, that's gotta come out. And that's how we got it out. All right, so this, you gotta remove this top hat assembly from the bottom. So you gotta take a pair of needle nose. And you gotta, you gotta pinch this together and then that just slides right off. So we'll go over to the other side and we'll do the other side. So. so now it's off and that is off and as you're doing this you have to separate the wires from the housing pick works really good to get in there without breaking anything 
Yeah, this, this being in gas for as long as it has, it's very brittle. All this white plastic. So you gotta come in here and you gotta get these. Get those wires out of there. So that way you can completely set the top hat to the side. Get it out of the way. Do it again. So now, the Venturi and the fuel pressure regulator, we're gonna take off right now. So just use a pick, boom, pry up one side and it just comes right up. All right, so now we're gonna, now that we detach the Venturi from down here, we're gonna take this whole assembly off. Essentially, you just push the fuel pressure regulator. Here. So you simply just push down on that tab and slide from the back. And that whole thing comes off. Ta-da, easy. So the next step, we gotta separate the top half from the bottom half so we can get access to the electrical connector and the fuel pump. So you'll get this tab right here, and you'll get another tab on the front. You'll get this tab on the back, and then you'll get this tab right here. Pop, pop all those out, and the bottom should separate from the top. All right, so once you pop those four clips, you'll separate the bottom, and now you have access to your fuel pump. So the next step is to flip that over. Now we want to remove that clip right there it connects to the fuel pump. I can get it out. Proven to be a bitch. <laughs> when in doubt, beat it out. <laughs> So, this clip here, uh, I don't know, it's it was kind of a pain because it was kind of tight in this area. So, we just took a small flathead, stuck it down in here and just kind of helped pry it out. So, here's the fuel pump. So, we'll get to working on getting this out and we will get back to you. So, next. We gotta get the actual fuel line off the fuel pump. So, pop that clip, see what he's doing. Pop one clip. Essentially, these pry up here. Pry from the back of the pick. And the other side just pop back in. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, keep it up. I'm trying, dude. All right, once you get both of these clips, these both sides of this clip, you should be able to just go ahead and pop that up. You fucking pull it. Pull on. It's got to pull on it. All right, so it also says. This little black o-ring if it stays on the fuel pump take it off and put it back in here but this one stayed so we're good now the fuel pump is now free of the top piece yay you're almost there okay here move here there's this tiny little metal Container clip right here. You got to pry that off. So yeah, if you break this, we won't be using it. So it's okay if you break it. Just trying to get it off is kind of hard. Yeah, it's fucking on there, isn't it? I, mean, I guess. I guess however you want to try to get it off. We won't be using that at all. No, that's what it says. I think. No, you're not gonna get it with that. Okay. So once you get that little clip off. You pull this off, it's got three clips, one right here, one here, and one here. You just you 
pull this off the back and you literally it, the pump's going to be in there by o-rings going to be in that that hole down there so we used a tiny pry bar and just helped helped it out um so the kit will come with these two o-rings you will use both of these o-rings on the outlet of the new fuel pump so you put them both on here and you'll install that back in that cage and everything is basically the exact reverse order so if you have trouble just rewind the video and see how we did it what we did or how i explained to do it so i don't know let's go ahead and open these up and we'll just we'll just stick them on there real quick thank god i got this gopro because man this shit this shit's so much better it's more gooder <laughs> now we got this, this uh, super super lube for your extra lubrication don't know what it's for though so on the old fuel pump you want to take that white piece off and put it on the new one i already got it off yep so you'll just take slide that on there boom seat that all the way down and then you'll put those brand new green freshies on there. I'm guessing that's what the lube is for. So it comes with this lube. Um, I highly recommend using it. Otherwise, it might rip an O-ring. Oh yeah. Reminds me of energy suspension bushings. Oh, I got a little extra on that one. There you go. Oh yeah. That wrong a little extra lube though. That nice and lubed up. So. This is a Deechworks DW300C. We are actually, I will give you guys a, a glimpse here, just a little bit of why we're going with this bigger fuel pump. Let's put the, put the bushings on there. Oh, the O-rings. the O-rings, man. So it is literally the reverse install and you're done. So as far as that little treat, I was, at, but before I fall on my ass, because this fucking fan. Hold the hood. Whoa. Custom turbo kit from Full Race. These guys do an amazing job. Stand right here. Oh, yeah. This thing is gonna sing. What size injectors did you use? they Injector Dynamics 1050. Now that everything's, now that we actually got the uh, fuel pump, uh, we're gonna finish everything up is what I mean. Um, we're gonna put some oil on it. We're gonna put some, throw some coolant in it. Um, and we're gonna throw a base map on it just so we can start it up. See if anything's leaking, see how everything's performing. And then we are going to throw a better base tune on it so he can drive it to his tuner. Hopefully we get some good power out of this thing because I think I think he's wanting three 350. I think about 350 on stock motor. But and he's going for that on, on 91 too. So we're not doing the 85 yet. The 85's for later. I think we're gonna did you say we were gonna go ahead and get a uh, a different K bottom end? Yeah, I'm going to buy the A2, K2082, bottom end. So, full race turbo kit. We installed all this shit. And I gotta tell you, it's a long process out here in 20 degree weather trying to do this. But this shit is fucking dope. So, that's the fuel pump install, guys. I'll show. I'll get more videos going of this later. Until then, guys, see you in the next one.